Children of the Corn is based off a Stephen King book made in 1984. And this movie is about this two people. They're a couple and they just love each other so much, but one day they hit a kid and then they start interacting with this world of kids that rule a town that kill adults. So let me give you the backstory of this. I was just scrolling through Netflix last night trying to find something to watch for me and my grandmother and my sister and we were just looking through and we found this movie in the horror section called Children of the Corn and she was like oh my that movie scared me when I saw it back then and I was like all right well let's watch it and I gotta say after hearing my grandmother say oh man this was so scary and hearing her now laughing at it means there was some kind of thing around it. I, I, I can, I'm pretty sure this movie is very atmospheric, and that basically means, like, if you grew up in that time period, you would love this movie, and you probably still would today. I was born in the 2000s, so... E, this movie is entertaining, at least. I will admit, a few scares actually were able to get me scared, but it's very goofy. I mean, I understand what it's trying to say here, but it is very cheesy and corny. This There's this kid named Isaac. He has a very creepy look, but his voice, it sounds like Stevie from Smosh. <laughs> and the kid who plays Malachi, oh my gosh. If anyone thought the lead actor in Birdemic was Wood, well, well you're right, but this one, actually, you know what? Malachi's better. Haven't seen Birdemic. But I did watch John Tron's review. Thank you, John Tron. I don't have to watch that. The two main actors, basically the couple, they were good. They had chemistry. And it was fine. I mean, this movie, there's no real way to criticize it. Because it's it's an atmosphere thing, okay? It's uh, If you grew up with it in 1984, then you'd love it. But if you're a 2000s person like I am then you're not really gonna like it, you're probably gonna laugh your guts out, which is probably why this is a good, funny movie to watch. So I can't really give this movie a grade, uh, because it's very atmospheric. I, I didn't grow up with that movie, so I can't really give it a rating, because you have to grow up with it. But just for the heck of it, I'm just gonna tell you what my honest thoughts of it are. It's very corny and cheesy, and it's it's got fine actors, the kid who plays Isaac is very weird voiced, but whatever. Malachi, very wooden. The kids were fine, and some scares, a few, got to me. The rest of the movie, very corny and cheesy and all that stuff. It's from the 80s. You just gotta accept it, corny. Wanna laugh? Go ahead and watch it. I'm gonna give this movie on a corny of laughs, like a, like a B plus, I guess. There's no real way to give another rating just for how entertaining it is. I'll give it a B plus there. There you go. Also, I would like to say, once again, it's been a week since I've gotten 200 subscribers. And this is the last video, maybe, where I ask you guys, please leave suggestions in the comments below of what you think I should do for my 200 subscriber video. Because I have no idea, because I already did a shout out one for my 100 subscriber special. I want to hear what you guys think. I've only gotten one comment. Of, 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 uh, of a suggestion, so please leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Fulcher. See you guys next time. <laughs>